Late August, given heavy rain and sun for a full week, the blackberries would ripen. At first, just one, a glossy purple clot. Among others, red, green, hard as a knot. You ate the first one and its flesh was sweet like thickened wine. Summer's blood was in it, leaving stain up stains upon the tongue in a lust for picking. Then red ones linked, uh, inked up that hunger, sent us out with milk cans, petons, jam pots, where briars scratched and wet grass bleached our boots. Round hayfields, cornfields and potato drills, we trekked and picked until the cans were full, until the tinkling, pot, tinkling bottom had been covered with green ones, and on top big dark blobs burned like a plate of eyes. Our hands peppered with thorn pricks, our palms as sticky as bluebeards. We hoarded the fresh berries in the byre, and when the bath was full we found a fur, a rat-grey fungus glutting on our cake. The, fret, the juice was stinking too. Once off the bush the fruit fermented, its sweet flesh would turn sour. I always felt like crying. It wasn't fair that all that lovely canfuls, or canfuls of smelt of rot, each year I hoped they'd keep, knew they would not.